Naruto, if you dare to destroy my Uchiha, then we will fight four times. Chapter 46. I was just playing with him. I didn't want him to die so soon. You don't think that was my full strength, do you? Haha, <laughs> how could that be? Uchiha Madara-sama is at the top of the entire ninja world, one of the most powerful beings in history, who doesn't know that? The masked man heard the teasing in the girl's tone, but ignored it and just snorted. Speaking of which, that plan can finally be put into practice, right? Yonori nodded, took out a sealed scroll from the furacid of her kimono, and after unfolding it, a flare was launched directly into the sky. A large orange word, escape, was formed in the night sky before dawn. This was a plan that Uchiha Yono had arranged for the Uchiha clan before. The girl contacted important figures of Uchiha Moriyuki's faction in advance and told them that she had found a way out for the Uchiha clan in advance. And they were responsible for conveying this news to those clansmen they could contact. In this way, it didn't take long before most of the Uchiha clan members were they learned that in addition to the Ku clan codename, Ju, led by the clan leader tonight, there was also a backup plan codenamed, Takeoff, which was also an escape plan. Although they didn't know who came up with this plan, they could vaguely guess that it was the work of Uchiha Moriyuki, an elder who was known as a conservative in the clan. If anyone was to blame, it should be Uchiha Fugaku, who didn't leave enough escape routes for everyone. Seeing that there was such a backup plan, most people were very happy. Of course, this also led to them not having courage to fight to the death. Although this limited their role in tonight's coup, it also avoided more casualties. Therefore, although this battle directly or indirectly destroyed half of Konoha, although the ninjas on the side of the Konoha Hokage suffered heavy casualties, and most of the buildings were destroyed, but miraculously most of the Uchiha clan members survived to this day. At this time, they are gathering under the leadership of Uchiha Moriyuki, the clan elder and the number two figure of the Uchiha clan. Prepare to execute the escape plan as soon as you receive the signal. At this time, Uchiha at first, Hamamori Yuki didn't believe that his daughter, whom he always regarded as the apple of his eye, could formulate such a complicated and thorough plan, and had the power to implement it. It was not until the process of fighting and directing the coup tonight that he saw with his own eyes that Yatsuno used the power of the Mangekio Sharingan to summon the Suzano comparable to the gods to destroy a large number of houses. After being shocked, he made up his mind to implement the battle plan that Yatsuno had explained long ago. Looking at Itachi, who was exhausted from the continuous use of the Mangekio power, the corner of the girl's mouth flashed a hint of sneer. You keep saying it's for peace, then let me show you how it feels like when your own eyes become the cause of a war, ha 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 ha. Time went back to nearly ten hours ago, in an abandoned shrine on the edge of Konoha village. The girl's voice was as sweet as a lark. Quote dot dot dot. I will help you destroy Konoha, but there is a condition, you cannot attack the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Obito just recovered from his surprise at this sentence, and he asked. I thought you were planning to launch a coup and seize power in Konoha, so you invited me to assist you. How come you, a ninja from Konoha, actually want to destroy it instead of taking it for yourself? If you want to be Hokage, I can help you. Of course, Yang No didn't take his words seriously, she said lightly. Even if I don't destroy Konoha, Konoha will destroy my family sooner or later. Because this is a choice between two and one, isn't it? You have become the new generation of Hokage, how could anyone want to destroy your family? Yonori said, you also noticed what I said just now. I didn't say that the Hokage wanted to destroy our Uchiha clan. But Konoha, this abstract, illusory, but actually existing overall will. To destroy us. Just because we seem out of place here, no matter the powerful force that can be obtained by opening the Mangekyo, or the huge power and wealth of our clan, they have become the thorn in the eyes of the collective will of countless ninjas in, Konoha. Even if our Uchiha clan becomes Hokage in Konoha for generations, the situation will not change, because this means that our Uchiha clan has been tied to the chariot of Konoha for generations, and we have to shed our last drop of blood in this place of four wars to protect this abstract concept. Konoha, it is a flower that often needs the blood of the strong or the big family to bloom. It is so tempting, it seems to be quietly blooming in the center of the continent, waiting for someone to pick it. 
It is also so greedy that it will never be satisfied until it sips the last drop of blood of the dry sacrifice. It's just like. Uchiha Obito's eyes flashed with a hint of depth. Is it like the fate of the Senju clan? Yang No nodded. It's ironic, isn't it? I heard that the first Hokage's wood release chakra was also so greedy, craving everything around him. Therefore, our enemy is not just the third Hokage or Shimura Danzo. In fact, like my father, Serutobi Hirazan can only be regarded as a conservative in the village's decision-making level. Uchiha Fugaku miscalculated this point, thinking that as long as he controlled the Hokage and waited for him to become the Hokage, everything would be solved. Humph, it's not that easy. The problem with their family is that they always like to think things are too simple. So, Uchiha Obito's expression revealed a trace of thought. To you, the Uchiha clan is more important than Konoha village. Yang No tasted the language trap hidden in Obito's words and weighed his words carefully. Our Uchiha clan has a glorious history of thousands of years, but the Konoha ninja village, which was established because of our, she glanced at Obito when she said this, and continued when he didn't react momentary mistake, has only been around for 60 years. If I allow the Uchiha clan to be exterminated in the Konoha ninja village, if I allow something like this to happen, then the history of our Uchiha clan will be forever tied to this organization that was only established a few decades ago. In this way, when people mention the Uchiha clan 10 years or 100 years later, they will not imagine the Uchiha clan that dominated the ninja family for thousands of years during the Warring States period, but just a Konoha ninja family that was wiped out overnight in the Konoha ninja village. Isn't this putting the cart before the horse? That makes sense, what you said is very interesting. Three Magatama appeared in the right eye under the mask. In the dilapidated shrine, Uchiha Obito continued. But this still can't convince me to help you. At most, it will make me not consider taking action against the Uchiha clan in the near future. I initiated the establishment of an organization and secretly manipulated its behavior. This organization is called, Shao. The current plan is to develop power and recruit members. A mid-term plan is to collect all the tailed beasts in the world. Finally, to build a world where no one suffers and everyone can be happy. Are you interested in joining this organization? If you are willing to join this organization, I can consider your proposal. What he said was already expected by Yang Number. Or rather, if he didn't say that, it would be difficult for Yang No to find a breakthrough. Obito only heard the girl in front of him continue to speak. Are you saying that you want to use an organization to collect all the tailed beasts from the major ninja villages, which they regard as the ultimate fighting force? Uchiha Obito was stunned when he heard this. He expected only two answers, yes or no, but he didn't expect the other party to be interested in the details of his plan. Yes, Akatsuki is an elite organization composed of rebellious ninjas who all have powerful abilities but are not tolerated by their respective villages. Usually, each group consists of two people, but as long as one group has a powerful ninja who can sneak into a ninja village, kill the shadow of a village, and take away the Jinchuriki. Excuse me, is it too dangerous to sneak into the ninja village with a team of only two people to seize the most important fighting force of the village? What is the advantage of sticking to a small number of people? Confidentiality. Uchiha Obito said. Before the truth is revealed and the major ninja villages start to target us, we must keep a low profile and keep it confidential so that we can develop our power in secret without being targeted. In this way, when we obtain the power of most of the tailed beasts, we can stand in the broad daylight. This is what we have to consider in the end. Yonori continued. This is certainly a good idea, but if after I join this organization, this organization will randomly assign me a teammate and let me sneak into a ninja village of a big country. Facing the strength of the cage and the Jinchuriki. Snatching the Jinchuriki under their noses, if it is such a crazy organization, I am not interested in risking my life to join, let those crazy people who are not afraid of death go. Uchiha Obito heard the meaning of her words and asked. What you mean is, if we don't implement the plan in this organizational form, but use a different method, but still have the same purpose, are you willing to consider my proposal? For this fellow with the Mangekio Sharingan, Obito was somewhat preferential to him. 
Well, yes, I mean, since the original intention of your organization is to act in secret and not attract the attention of the major ninja villages, but think about it, how could something like seizing the Jinchuriki not attract their attention? Moreover, a group of powerful rebel ninjas gathered together. No matter how secretive they acted, they would still be suspicious in the eyes of the five major nations, right? Obito's eyes showed a thoughtful look. Go on, I'm listening. What if, and I mean what if, something happened that made it impossible for them to focus at all? What kind of thing? For example, how about a great war in the ninja world? The young black-haired girl in front of him showed a touching smile. The three Magatama Sharingan on the right eye of Obito's white mask with black patterns shrank, and after a long silence, he spoke in a low voice. You're a little too extreme. In fact, he didn't care, but he was used to playing the role of Madara, and he was still thinking about his image as a hermit. After all, the one who tricked others into joining Akatsuki and building a beautiful new world couldn't be a warmongerer, right? Yang No smiled and said, if you're not extreme, can you still be called Uchiha? I'll take this as your compliment. Let me hear your plan first. Uchiha Obito said, how do you plan to start a ninja war? No, no, no. Yang Nai shook his fingers and threw away all the blame. I didn't want to start a ninja war, and I don't have the ability to do that. The one who started the ninja war was the cage of the four major ninja villages. I just want to give them the same thing. So when they see this thing, they will naturally take action. What? Uchiha. The girl said lightly. A flash of realization flashed in Obito's eyes. Is this your whole plan? He was thinking carefully, thinking about the feasibility of it. That's right. Yang Nai said. In light of the unpleasant experiences of the Uchiha and Konoha's cooperation in the past, I recognize the following facts. First. The girl raised a scallion white finger and waved it in front of Obito's mask, as if to attract his attention, which was wandering around because of his thinking. It was not until the pupil of the right eye focused on her finger that Yang No spoke. For a large family like our Uchiha with a large population, there is actually no single ninja village that can absorb this power. This is what is called a strong dragon cannot suppress a local snake. With such a strong force like us, we can easily change the balance of power in a village wherever we go. Either the village's shadow suppresses us because of the internal balance, or some forces that oppose the shadow use us to try to fight against the shadow's rule. As for forces like us, due to our external nature, no matter which side we join, no matter whether we succeed in the end, we will inevitably be dragged out as scapegoats after our success and bring about our own death. Therefore, she stretched out a second finger, waved it in front of Obito's eyes, which were beginning to become unfocused again, and said, Therefore, I came to the conclusion that if we want to seek refuge in a village, then our number must be small enough that it is difficult to change the power structure within the village even if we go there. However, if that happens, and we seek the protection of a village, and that village does not want to offend Konoha, or does not want to risk going to war with Konoha, and chooses to hand over our small force to appease Konoha's anger, then that would be troublesome. Therefore, if we want the Uchiha clan to be truly protected, not only will our own forces become relatively weak, but we will also have to find more than one ninja village to rely on, so the simplest way has emerged. The girl stretched out her third finger and shook it again and said. That is to split our Uchiha clan into several smaller branches, and then join the other four major ninja villages. I see. A flash of realization flashed across Obito's eyes. Isn't that the first? That's right. Yang No said. It's just like the first generation of Hokage distributed the tailed beasts. Once the Mangekio Sharingan is opened, our people will have the strength to rival the tailed beasts. Why can't this huge potential power be distributed to the major ninja villages like the tailed beasts? In the abandoned shrine, Uchiha Obito did not stand still at this time, but paced in this narrow space as if he was thinking about something. He walked back and forth a few times before he suddenly turned back and looked at Yino and said hurriedly. What if the major ninja villages are still unwilling to start a ninja world war after obtaining the power of the Uchiha clan? Wouldn't it be even more difficult for us to collect the tailed beasts if the ninja villages were strengthened by the Uchiha clan? Then we give them an excuse. What excuse? For example, the head of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Fugaku, was murdered by a treacherous villain in Konoha. 
the condition for the Uchiha clan to serve is to raise an army to avenge the head of the clan, Fugaku. How about this? Obito said with some surprise. With your eyesight, you should be able to detect that he has transplanted Shisui's Mangekio Sharingan, right? Fugaku is not easy to deal with now. In the shrine, the girl with bright eyes and white teeth spoke calmly, with no expression on her smooth face. Because of this, he must die. After he dies, the pair of Shisui's Mangekio will belong to me. Are you trying to open the eternal Mangekio Sharingan by transplanting Shisui's Mangekio? Uchiha Obito's eyes flashed with a hint of enlightenment. I just don't know how much the Uchiha Moriyuki lineage and the Uchiha Kagami lineage, where this girl was born, are related by marriage. The probability of transplanting a blood relative's Mangekio Sharingan to obtain the eternal Mangekio Sharingan is that the closer the relative, the higher the probability. Why not go back and look through the family tree? While he was still thinking about it, Yang No continued to speak. This is the second condition of our transaction, how about it? Yes, Uchiha Obito said. But revenge for the clan leader is enough as a superficial excuse. In fact, none of the major ninja villages would mobilize their ninjas to fight a ninja world war with Konoha just for the sake of revenge, right? Then add one more thing, as the shelter of our people for 60 years. The underground of Nanga Shrine has the secrets of the power of the Mangekio Sharingan and the eye technique to control the tailed beasts. But unfortunately, because our people fled in a hurry, this eye technique is now lost and is permanently controlled by Konoha. In this way, they will have to force Konoha to hand over the relevant information. No matter how things develop, chaos is inevitable. I see, it's a really thorough plan. In the past 10 years, Obito had never thought of such a trick. He had always been doing things at his own pace. Now Yono's proposal is like an important branch line in an RPG game, which allows him to better complete the main line of collecting the tailed beasts by doing this branch line. Obito, who had always considered only completing the main line, had never thought that there would be expansion content. I agree with the plan in principle, he said. I think this plan is very good. In the chaotic ninja world war, the Jinchuriki must go out of the village to fight. This will not only be more beneficial for us to capture the tailed beasts, but also allow us to frame the incident of seizing the tailed beasts of a village on the ninja village that is hostile to him. Taking advantage of the chaos, even if Akatsuki acts more ostentatiously, they don't have to worry about being discovered. It should be said that he is worthy of being a good student of Aruchiha Madara. Obito-san has learned to ask and answer his own questions. Well, since you have proposed that plan, listen to my request. Obito came back from his thoughts and looked at Haruno and said. The first condition you mentioned is not to attack the Uchiha clan, because the plan of the ninja world war itself is already a prerequisite, so it is naturally impossible for me to attack the Uchiha clan. As for your second condition, you need to obtain Shisui's Mangekio Sharingan. If Fugaku's death does not require me to take action according to your plan, then I can agree. But if Fugaku is about to succeed in the coup, then we must work together to get rid of him and not let him become the Hokage of Konoha. Because then, our plan cannot be implemented, and in that case, I need to get at least one of Shisui's eyes. Yono was a little surprised that Uchiha Obito was so obsessed with Shisui's Mangekio Sharingan. She frowned, but reluctantly agreed to the condition. Uchiha Obito seemed to be in a good mood, and he continued. If you have any other conditions, feel free to put them forward. As the actual controller of Akatsuki, I can answer all of them here. First, I will work for Akatsuki and help you get rid of some troublesome ninjas or capture tailed beasts. But there is a prerequisite, that is, I will not officially join your duo. I choose to recruit a group of people on my own, form a force affiliated with Akatsuki, and act alone. What? Yang No said is similar to the Eagle organization affiliated with Akatsuki in the original work. Of course, knowing that Akatsuki allows such an organization to exist is one of the reasons why she and Obito put forward this condition. Oh. Obito seemed a little interested. Continue. As an external member of Akatsuki, I can follow some of Akatsuki's arrangements under certain conditions, but my subordinates must have a high degree of independence, and you cannot command them to do things without my permission. Uchiha Obito thought about it seriously and immediately put forward targeted conditions. It was obvious that he was sincere in the negotiation. 
I can agree to this, but on one condition, I will place a deputy from the branch organization you founded next to you, and report to me at any time on the movements of your organization. To monitor me. It doesn't matter. Very good. Yang Nai nodded and said. Besides, I need a base. Oh, I think your Akatsuki organization is definitely not a group of wandering ninjas, but has its own headquarters, right? That's right. Obito said the truth directly. The headquarters is located in the Land of Rain. The nominal leader is Nagato of the Uzumaki clan, who possesses the legendary Samsara Ai and is a disciple of the three ninjas Jiraiya. But what appeared in front of the general members of the organization was a puppet he made from the body of Yahiko, who was also Jiraiya's disciple. By the way, that Yahiko was killed by Shimura Danzo of your Konoha. Yono shrugged. She knew all this long ago, so she was just a little surprised by Obito's honesty. Well, he told her 80% of the truth, except for the part about the origin of the Samsara Eye. After all, it gave a lot of inspiration to the other party's plan. As a member of the Uchiha clan who possesses the Mangekyo, joining, or joining Akatsuki, is more or less a privilege. Then I also need a ninja village as a base, where I can train the strength of my Akatsuki branch and take control of it. Which ninja village do you want? While Yang Nuo was still thinking about those small countries, Obito suddenly spoke up. How about Karigakur? What? One of the five great ninja villages right off the bat. Well, Karigakur is the bottom of the five great ninja villages, but it is still a great ninja village. Obito actually gave it to him as the base of his power. Could he be the Mizukage? Obito smiled and said, is he the Mizukage? Don't be surprised, this is both a condition and a task. The fourth Mizukage Yagura, who currently rules the Hidden Mist Village, once got rid of the illusion I had set before, or I once used illusions to manipulate him and performed some interesting social experiments, but I quickly shifted my focus away from it, and because the distance was too far, in short, the illusion failed. I can give you a task, which is to deal with that trouble. He may know some secrets of our organization, and those people around him who may expose the secrets of our organization, get rid of them all. Oh, by the way, he is also the Jinchuriki of the Three Tails, and is said to be able to perfectly use the power of the Three Tails. No matter how you kill him or sideline him, I must at least get the power of the Three-Tailed Fox. After the success, Karigakur can be regarded as your private land. But I give you a piece of advice, it is best not to stand in front of the stage and dream of becoming the fifth Mizukage or something like that, because that will be detrimental to our organization's actions in secret. Seeing that Obito actually imparted his life experience of being a mastermind, Yangno could only nod and say. I'm not that stupid. There's no way, the bait given by Obito is too fragrant. But she asked again. As a member of Akatsuki, what kind of help can I get from the organization? How about this? I will give you the information of the current ordinary members of our organization. You can temporarily borrow one or two people for no more than one month to help you complete the task of controlling the Water Shadow Village and obtaining the Tailed Beast. To be honest, I have been using the illusion of the Sharingan to control the kid from a distance, but it is still a bit difficult. I can only affect his consciousness intermittently. If you get Fugaku's Koto Amatsukami, then I suggest you don't rush to fuse it, try to open the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, and use that ability to control him. I think the task will become easier. Yang No nodded, and the transaction between the two was officially completed. Ten minutes later, Yang No had left the abandoned shrine and returned to the Uchiha clan's clan land, while Uchiha Obito was still pondering every possible detail of this plan. Hmm, do we need to tell the cages of the other four villages about this news in advance? This way, we can send someone to pick up the remaining members of the Uchiha clan as soon as possible. Oh, by the way, we must also retrieve the Sharingan from the bodies of the Uchiha clan members who will soon die in the coup, and also those who are seriously injured and cannot escape. Although I promised her not to attack the Uchiha clan, those seriously injured will sooner or later become the strength of Konoha, so we should also retrieve their blood-red eyes. He muttered to himself, sometimes excited, sometimes lost in thought. At this moment, a humanoid wrapped in a pitcher plant suddenly appeared next to him. It's really scary. I didn't expect it was a little girl who was only about 10 years old. Are all the people of the Uchiha clan like this? Just a few words can change the situation of the whole world. 
the pitcher plant said in a strange voice. Obito frowned and said. Ju, you should also know that the Uchiha clan members who have opened the Mangekyo are worlds apart from those who have not opened the Mangekyo. She naturally has this ability and became one of the chess players. But I'm afraid her plan will be too radical, which will be detrimental to our original plan to secretly collect the tailed beasts. I'm not worried that she will betray me. I'm afraid that from the beginning to the end, whether it's Konoha, Uchiha, or Akatsuki, she didn't really take it seriously. It doesn't matter, since we have the same goal, we are on the same path. Obito said. Moreover, it is easier to hide in the dark situation amidst chaos than to act in the dark situation amidst peace. Ju Wusheng nodded and continued to mutter. I am really looking forward to it. Is the storm finally coming? I can already smell the cicadas chirping before the storm. He he he, let the dark situation come even more violently. Just like that, Uchiha Haruno who appeared in front of the surviving members of the Uchiha clan, had obviously been through a whole night of fierce fighting. The sleeves were torn and full of traces of being burned and cut by sharp objects, and even the white tabi embroidered with golden orange flower patterns that wrapped the delicate feet had turned scarlet because it was soaked with too much blood of others. She saw shock, disbelief and other complex expressions in hundreds of eyes, and also saw a trace of guilt hidden in them. After all, most of the people present did not fight desperately all night, but let her, a little girl, fight on the front line. But Haruno ignored these people. Instead, she walked straight to her father, glanced at her mother who was a little naive next to her father and said. Father, Master Reiko, this is not a place to stay for long. Gather the clansmen and leave the area of Konoha village before making any plans. Uchiha Moriyuki said with a complicated expression. Are we really leaving? Is there no hope for us to succeed? Yang Nai snorted and said. Indeed, using the lives of the third generation and several of his clan members in exchange for our four generation family business in Konoha is indeed a huge loss for us, but with the death of the clan leader, our clan members no longer have any reason to fight. Open your eyes and look. She raised her voice and shouted to all the Uchiha clan members. There are enemies all around you. There is no place to hide. You can only escape from the Konoha Ninja village as soon as possible. Uchiha Moriyuki said. I have already informed all families in advance as you said, and asked them to prepare their things and be ready to go at any time. Even though there are a dozen people who are stubborn and still loyal to Konoha, they refuse to participate in the coup tonight and refuse to leave with us. In addition, there are the civilians who are unable to participate in the coup. Yang No was not surprised at all. As a large family with hundreds of people, how could all of them be determined to join the coup? There must be conservative people or loyalists among them. These people may not inform the Hokage at the beginning due to various reasons. But they must be disapproving of the coup. Unfortunately, in the face of the difficult problem of the coup, which only has two choices of success or death, their only fate in the original work is to turn into layers of bones in the dark of Konoha. The fire burned even more vigorously because of this. Yang No said easily. Ignore them. Let the Hokage deal with this problem. It is also a good opportunity to leave those who are inconvenient to take with them to them. Since these people are willing to be loyal to the village, the village will not take their lives directly. There is another problem. Uchiha Shoyuki took two steps forward and lowered his voice. That's the clan leader's wife. Yang Naya asked softly. Is it Uchiha Makoto-sama? Yes, she just learned about the death of Uchiha Fugaku. Like crazy, she was looking for Uchiha Sasuke. Sasuke seemed to have escaped from the clan land to the village during the chaos. Yonano raised her beautiful eyebrows. At this moment of escaping, she didn't want to waste time because of such an accident. At this moment, Uchiha Yashura, who was in charge of the periphery, came forward and delivered a message. I just saw someone who seemed to be from the Hokage's Anbu side taking the unconscious Sasuke away directly. Obito also appeared beside Haruno. To complete that plan, we'd better act now. Sasuke. Let him stay in Konoha. Facing this mysterious masked man who suddenly came up, the Uchiha clan members were very odd, although they also knew that the masked man's self-proclaimed Uchiha Madara was probably not real. But in any case, the other party was one of the only two strong men in the clan who had the Mangekyo Sharingan. Well, Uchiha Itachi didn't count. 
From the moment they learned that he was filial to his father from behind, the surviving Uchiha clan members had automatically expelled him from the Uchiha clan. Well, let's go without further ado. Yono released Suzano again, clearing the way in front, while the masked man used fire style. Storm danced to cover the rear, protecting more than 300 Uchiha clan members from escaping from the Konoha ninja village. The original high wooden walls and gates had long been reduced to ruins. The obstacles and pursuits they encountered along the way were very limited. Most of the manpower was consumed in the coup that night, and the remaining people were unable to pursue them for various reasons. Therefore, until they escaped from the border of the village, miraculously no one was killed. Turning back, the girl stretched out her palm to the Hokage rock, which was half covered by green leaves, and clenched it into a fist. In the morning sunlight, the girl made a vow. One day, I will return like lightning. There is a sentence in the original book. It is not that you become a Hokage to be recognized by everyone, but that you become a Hokage when you are recognized by everyone. Fortunately, now she already has the power that is, recognized, by everyone. That power is called, Koto Amatsukami. She only needs to develop its ability, and then control everything in secret, and wait until the time is right. It was already noon, and they were resting in a forest with dense vegetation. They were sitting or lying in the open space, or standing on the giant trees in groups of three or four. Everyone's face was filled with helplessness and confusion about the future. Among this group of tribesmen, standing in the middle was Uchiha Haruno, who had shocked the entire Konoha ninja village and family with his own strength in the coup the night before, and the mysterious man who seldom spoke. The status of these two strong men in the clan can be compared with that of Uchiha Fugaku in the past, and because of their past closeness, everyone was more willing to believe Uchiha Haruno. After all, it was an emergency now, and everyone was eager to have a backbone in the clan. Only to hear the girl they were familiar with speak loudly. Fellow tribesmen, I believe you should also know the situation of our tribe today. Upon hearing this, everyone looked gloomy. That's right. Due to the betrayal of the traitor, the clan leader was murdered just when the coup was about to succeed. The situation of our Uchiha clan today has really reached the point where it can't be any worse. Seeing that the girl who was regarded as the backbone actually took the lead in speaking such dejected words. The Uchiha clan members who had been expecting her to use some super awesome Mangekyo Sharingan secret technique to lead the clan members to fight back to Konoha village and seize the position of Hokage, could not help but hang their heads in dejection. An elder in the clan who was about to become a former elder questioned. You fought the whole night and defeated most of the elite ninjas including the Hokage. Why are you still in this state? Hearing his words, Yongno snorted coldly and said. Even if we can defeat all those who oppose us, how can those of us who survive defend this ninja village located in the center of the continent? Besides, when did I allow you to speak? I don't have the habit of being interrupted when I'm still trying to speak. Then the girl's kaleidoscope in the eyes turned like a gem, and the elder's legs softened and fell to the ground. He was actually directly hit by an illusion and fainted. The masked man on the side was indifferent. Seeing the girl fighting directly without saying a word, the other Uchiha clan members couldn't help but look ugly, and their fear of the girl in front of them increased a little bit. What Yang No said now is the most important. They didn't expect that in just one night, the power structure within the Uchiha clan would undergo earth-shaking changes due to the change in power. Seeing that everyone was under his power and dared not speak, and no one dared to challenge his majesty at this time, Yang No continued to incite. Now some of you may not know where to go in the future. As the peaceful life that has lasted for decades has been broken, you are confused. But what I want to say is that all the experiences we have had during this period of time are nothing more than a punishment for our fathers not following Uchiha Madara decades ago. We retreated again and again, starting from giving up our voice in the village's Jonan group, until we were put into a cage called the Konoha Guard. Even at this time, some of us still naively fantasize that we can find a way to compromise between Uchiha and Konoha. And now, the facts have proven everything with blood. Those who have such fantasies have paid the price of their lives for their fantasies. And now, after the last attempt to change the current situation of the village has failed, there is only one way out left for us. As she spoke, she looked around, and amidst the various looks from everyone, Uchiha Haruno said. 
that is to completely cut off ties with Konoha and seek refuge in the other four major ninja villages. Looking at those tribesmen who couldn't help but want to speak, the girl spoke first. Some may disagree, and yes, I know some of you already think so. Why don't we find a smaller country and seize it? With our strength, we can build a ninja village that truly belongs to our Uchiha clan, but I want to say. She saw the burning eyes of some of the young people in the clan and knew that she had said what they were thinking, but she only heard the girl continue to speak. What I want to say is that it is too early now, you'd better give up this foolish fantasy. Because no matter where we flee to, unless we are protected by a major ninja village that has the strength to compete with Konoha, we will face the relentless pursuit of Konoha Ninja Village, the village we once swore to protect. By that time, the other four great ninja villages will no longer regard us as a force to be won over, and they will most likely take our Sharingan along with Konoha. At that time, I can naturally leave, but in the vast ninja world, there will be no place for you to stay. After hearing the scenario she described, those people gradually turned pale, and it was obvious that the girl had hit the nail on the head. Fortunately, you still have me. I have used a special method to inform the shadows of the other four major ninja villages. As long as they are not fools, they will take action immediately. They will send someone to pick us up, so that we can find a new place to stay. Just then, a girl with pigtails timidly raised her right hand, as if asking for permission to speak, and she looked at Yang No like a small animal. Yang No knew who that person was. The girl was the same age as her, only a few months younger than Yang Number. She was also a playmate of the girl since childhood, named Uchiha Senkora. Her father was also an elder of the Uchiha clan like Uchiha Moriyuki, named Uchiha Jin. In the coup tonight, Uchiha Jin, who had been on the neutral and wavering side, decisively stood on the side of his father Uchiha Moriyuki, as if he had made a bet. Seeing that it was a faction close to him, Yang No naturally spoke. Tell me, Sanjiario, what do you want? The girl named Uchiha Sanjiario spoke timidly, her voice crisp and clear. Sister Yang Nai. This was her usual name. Yang Nai nodded slightly, and Sanjiarang continued. You said there are four ninja villages that will provide us with shelter. That's right. So which ninja village are we going to? Which ninja village is our new home? Yonori looked at the first girl in the clan who dared to stand up and talk to her. Sankora was the same age as her, but she had only opened the two Magatama Sharingan. Of course, this was already considered a gifted talent. I wonder if there is no hope to compete with Sasuke. Who is the fourth genius of the Uchiha family? She spoke, and she knew how earth-shattering her next words would be. It's very simple. Each of the great ninja villages will accept some of the Uchiha clan members. When she said this, it was like a stone that stirred up a thousand waves. They no longer cared about the girl's accumulated power. Someone couldn't help but exclaimed. Yang number. Are you trying to split our Uchiha clan? This proposal is so bold that even the clan leader doesn't dare to make such an suggestion. So, now he is dead. The tribe member who just shouted this sentence was choked back to his stomach by Yang No's cold tone, but at this time her father Uchiha Moriyuki also asked worriedly. Yang now, does this mean that we will be divided from now on? If there is a fight between those big villages, will we still have to fight each other on the battlefield? In the near future, that will not happen. Our clan will be put under observation until we ensure sufficient loyalty. Yang Nai explained. As for long-term plans, we can only talk about it when the time comes. At present, if any single ninja village gets our power, even those ninja villages known for their strength, there is a high probability that they will get into a tragic battle with Konoha. Only by relying on the power of all other ninja villages can we suppress Konoha and make them dare not attack us directly. The girl's words seemed to make sense. As soon as she spoke, the noise of the crowd finally decreased a lot. Seeing that her words had an effect, Yang No continued to strike while the iron was hot. Another important point is that because the power of the Sharingan in our eyes is easy to be coveted and robbed, therefore, the best way is to let those who covet our power have this power. Soon, if it goes as I expected, the peace of Konoha will come to an end because of our coup last night. The other big ninja villages that have accepted our Uchiha clans will begin to take action against Konoha. It's like a group of ninjas who don't trust each other getting together. 
Everyone has reason to suspect that the other party will attack them, so the best way is to attack the other party before the other party really attacks them. Our clansmen who go to various ninja villages should exert their influence as much as possible and promote a military alliance against Konoha as soon as possible. Our deceased clan leader has given them a good excuse. In the future, the Uchiha clan will probably no longer have a clan leader like Fugaku. Instead, they will be replaced by clan leaders from various branches. You mean the branch family? Uchiha Ren's eyebrows flashed a strange color. That's right. Yang No said. After all, we are all going to the four major ninja villages, how can we not separate the families? Rather than getting entangled later, it is better to take advantage of the opportunity now that everyone is here to talk it out. As for now, in view of the death of our beloved late Fugaku clan leader, Itachi Uchiha, who was supposed to be the first in line to succeed the head of the Uchiha clan, chose to betray us, and Sasuke Uchiha, who was nominally the second in line to succeed the head of the clan, escaped from our clan's territory and was kidnapped by the Hokage's side. His whereabouts are currently unknown. Yonori looked around at the Uchiha clan members around him, thought for a moment, and slowly spoke. There is only one person left in our clan who can represent the former clan leader, Uchiha Fugaku. Uchiha Haruno suddenly turned his gaze towards Uchiha Makoto who had been silent for a long time in the crowd. Everything that happened last night was indeed a big blow to this woman. The son she had raised with great difficulty became the murderer who killed her husband and ruined the future of the family. She was immersed in great pain alone, and at this moment the girl suddenly shifted everyone's attention to her. This was something this woman never expected. Haruno looked at her and said word by word. Makoto-sama, as the widow of the late clan leader Fugaku, you are the most qualified person to lead a branch clan when Itachi and Sasuke, who are supposed to be the legal heirs of our clan, are unable to fulfill their responsibilities as heirs. Those tribesmen who were loyal to the patriarch during his lifetime can follow your leadership. This. Uchiha Makoto had a miserable look on her face, and she spoke in a mournful voice, since I have been separated from Fugaku by life and death, I have no other wish but to see Sasuke again. Yono replied. As long as Makoto-sama can protect herself as the head of the branch family, there will always be a day when I can see him. I hope that one day, I will be able to teach Sasuke carefully so that he will not repeat the mistakes of his brother. This arrangement made the family members who were originally loyal to Uchiha Fugaku secretly relieved. This was the arrangement that suited their hearts the most. In their worst-case scenario, it was just that Uchiha Haruno coerced them and took advantage of their serious injuries to ask to become the patriarch of the Uchiha clan. Facing the power of the Mangekyo that was enough to stir up trouble in Konoha, they did not have many options to refuse. Now that the former Fugaku faction can be separated, it is really the best. Then Uchiha Haruno continued to say. Clan members who are willing to follow Makoto-sama can go to the Kingdom of Wind to seek the protection of the fourth case cage. As a large ninja village, I believe that the Kingdom of Wind can guarantee the safety of the branch family led by Makoto-sama. Everyone had different expressions. Sand Village is Konoha's nominal ally. Isn't this a scam? Yang No ignored it and continued. Lord Moriyuki, are you willing to lead some of your clan members to the west to join the Iwagakur village in the Land of Earth? The third Suchikage Onoki will surely be very willing to accept our Uchiha clan. Uchiha Moriyuki looked a little hesitant. He was already the most senior elder in the clan, and Iwagakur village was one of the top three powerful ninja villages. As the head of the branch clan, his status would probably be higher than that of Uchiha Makoto. He finally nodded in agreement. Of course it's possible, but then the number of people willing to follow me might be slightly more. He smiled. Yang No nodded. Of course. Then she looked at another elder. In the Uchiha clan, the original clan leader and the clan leader's opponents had already been arranged, so the third party had to consider the vacillating neutral faction. Master Uchiha Jin. She said. The middle-aged ninja with a kind face and slightly older than Uchiha Fugaku and Uchiha Moriyuki smiled and said. Although I am your elder, my strength is far from yours. If you need me to do anything, just tell me. Seeing that he was so tactful, Yang Nai smiled and said. Please take the rest of your people to the east and seek refuge in the hidden cloud village in the land of lightning. 
If the fourth Rakage Sama is willing to take such a risk to seize the bloodline of the Hyuga clan, even at the risk of going to war with Konoha, he must be willing to accept such a powerful force. Uchiha. Jin nodded and said, then I will encourage you, as the head of the branch family, to shamelessly seek the protection of the Rakage Sama, but as the strongest in our clan, as long as you give me an order, I will obey your arrangements completely. His words were so humble that even some people in his faction could not stand it. However, his daughter Uchiha Sankora still smiled heartlessly, thinking that her father and her sister had such a good relationship, and maybe she had contributed to it. Thinking of this, the smile on her face became even sweeter. As for the rest, I will be in charge of the branch going to the Hidden Mist Village. You should all have heard of the name of the Blood Mist Village. I don't need to say much about how dangerous it is. We are not going there to seek refuge, but to make a career there. Those young people who are willing to follow me, those who are ambitious and confident in their own strength, can follow me. But there is a prerequisite, that is, you must obey my orders completely. Looking at those people who were ready to move, remembering their faces one by one, Yang Nai said. I have finished what I said. Who is in favor and who is against? In Yang Noi's arrangement just now, she undoubtedly maximized her own personal interests. On the one hand, the four people he arranged were the widow of Uchiha Fugaku, a woman who seemed to have no opinion, not to mention that her power was the weakest. Her father had always obeyed her since she was a child, and elder Uchiha Ren had joined several parties. It can be said that although the Uchiha clan is still divided into the former clan leader faction, the former clan leader opposition faction and the former neutral faction, each faction is in her palm, plus the young faction led by her personally. Although all Uchiha are called branches, they can echo each other. Everyone had no objection, so under Yang Noi's urging, the number of people who would go to each branch was quickly decided. Among them, there were many who were from the same family but had different positions due to confusion or different positions. As a result, they went to different branches. It is inevitable that people's hearts are floating when the situation is urgent. In the end, there were about 70 former clan leaders who followed Makoto to the sand village. Including, Uchiha Makoto, Uchiha Anahina. The former clan leader's opposition faction who followed Moriyuki to the Iwagakur village was the largest, with about 130 people. Including, Uchiha Moriyuki, Uchiha Reiko, Uchiha Yashura. There were about 110 former neutral people who followed Uchiha Jin to the Cloud Village. Including, Uchiha Jin, Uchiha Tetsuka. The young faction that followed Miss Yang No to the Blood Mist Village was only over 40 people. What surprised her was that Uchiha Jin allowed his daughter Uchiha Sankora to follow her. Looking at the excitement on the little girl's face, she probably thought that dividing the family was as simple as visiting the village before. Seeing that everyone had made up their minds, Yang No said again. So from today on, the less than 400 people of our entire Uchiha clan who have escaped from the village will be divided into two directions, east and west. I will cover those who are heading to the Kingdom of Water and the Kingdom of Lightning in the east and break through many obstacles along the way, and this senior will lead those who are heading to the west, ah. Uh. Seeing Uchiha Obito standing up, Yang Noi suddenly came up with a name. Let this masked senior protect you as you go to the land of earth and the land of wind. Before that, I have one more announcement to make. Some of you may have heard of this rumor, but today I want to make it public. That is the darkness hidden deep within our clan, the secret of the Mangekio Sharingan. She pointed to her own eyes and said something that was almost the same as what Itachi said to Sasuke in the original novel. Then, amidst more than 300 pairs of shocked, unbelieving, or eager eyes, Yang No smiled slightly. Having said that, let's go our separate ways. I wish all of you a bright future. After saying that, she came to her parents and said. Father, Lady Reiko. Well, she called her mother Lady Reiko, which was a little insistence as a young lady. The innocent Uchiha Reiko was also accustomed to this title. Yang Nai said sincerely, the journey to various countries is long and the mountains are high. I don't know when we will meet again. Please don't be careful. Uchiha Moriyuki looked at her with complicated eyes and said. The same as you. No. Yang Nai smiled slightly. The ones I need to be careful of are my enemies. 
When Jiraiya left the village to travel and collect materials, he was interrupted by the Hokage's direct Anbu who suddenly appeared in front of him. He also saw the yellow-haired boy who had fallen asleep on the Anbu's back under some kind of hypnotic illusion. Is that the Nine Tails Jinchuriki? In Jiraiya's previous cognition, the Uchiha clan was indeed the most powerful family in Konoha, but there were no strong people who grew up in the same era as him. There was only a relatively outstanding younger generation named Uchiha Shisui. But with Shisui's untimely death, that was a thing of the past. Even if the Uchiha clan was given great power, could they still turn the world upside down? The facts told him that the world almost turned upside down. Therefore, when he saw that even the Jinchuriki ran out of the village, he couldn't believe it. Jiraiya didn't dare to imagine what happened that night, and how bad the situation would deteriorate, so that his teacher, who was known for his calmness, would make such a choice. When he hurriedly asked several Anbu for a detailed description, Jiraiya was extremely shocked, and this shock did not change until he personally stepped into the Konoha village. Well, he became even more shocked, and it can only be described as shocking. Whether it was the collapsed houses, the center of Konoha that was mostly destroyed, and the rows of wounded lying in the open air. Or the Hokage rock that was once majestic and magnificent, but now has become unrecognizable to anyone, as if it had been stabbed by a god. Everything that he witnessed made Jiraiya's body heavier with every step he took. He saw Yamanaka Inoichi, who looked tired. He was directing Konoha's aftermath work, and he didn't know how many hours he hadn't slept. The Hokage is in his office. He said to Jiraiya. And the situation is very bad. He said again in a low voice. Although he had expected it, Jiraiya's expression became even more gloomy. With a bang, the door of the Hokage's office was pushed open by Jiraiya. What appeared in front of him was such a weird scene. A set of complex medical equipment and various infusion facilities maintained the life of the third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, his teacher. He lost an arm and was lying on his back behind the desk with an extremely painful expression, as if he would die in the next second. Behind him, apart from the medical ninja class standing by, there were only two men who should be consultants, still standing there. One was Mito Kato N, who was wrapped in bandages, lost an eye, and sat in a wheelchair, and the other was Nara Shikaku, who lost his left arm. He had just replaced Kaharu and was appointed as the new consultant not long ago. And right in front of them was kneeling an Uchiha clan member. Jiraiya almost doubted his eyes, but when he looked carefully, he found that the person was Uchiha Itachi. He strode over, grabbed Uchiha Itachi's collar, and almost shouted to Itachi with his nose. Look at what your clan has done to Konoha. How dare you still be here? Before he finished speaking, the Hokage shouted weakly to stop. Immediately, two ninjas, Morino Ibiki and Mitarashi Anko, appeared beside him and held him tightly away. You misunderstood him, Jiraiya. Serutobi Hirazan said with difficulty, Itachi is the hero of our Konoha village. If he hadn't killed his own relatives for the sake of justice at the critical moment, I'm afraid that the Uchiha clan would have completely controlled the entire village, and you would never see me again. Serutobi Hirazan seemed to have a shortness of breath because of this. Seeing his teacher like this, Jiraiya didn't care about Uchiha Itachi anymore, and hurriedly approached him. He asked with concern. Hey, old man, are you okay? Serutobi Hirazan smiled bitterly. The reason why I am still like this, clinging to the world and not willing to die completely, is just for the stability of the situation in Konoha village. If it weren't for seeing you, I'm afraid I would have given up this treatment that can only prolong my life. Jiraiya, as my disciple, the future of Konoha is in your hands. I'm sorry for making everything so messed up. Jiraiya heard his teacher say this, but he remained silent. It was not until he let the air be quiet for a long time that he heard him say. Teacher, you know me well. I am not suitable for the position of Hokage. Why don't you let someone else do it? I am only suitable for charging into battle or secretly gathering intelligence. But his momentum became stronger, and he immediately scolded. Jiraiya. As the disciple of the third generation, how can you refuse to fulfill your obligations when your village needs you the most? Aren't you a little too selfish? If you hadn't been away from the village for so long, we wouldn't have been so passive in dealing with the coup that night. Nara Shikaku also persuaded. 
Master Jiraiya, I know you are not suitable to lead the village in peacetime, but the situation is urgent now. We just received intelligence that the remnants of the Uchiha clan have fled to the other four major ninja villages. I'm afraid a war is imminent, and at this time, we need you to demonstrate your war command ability. Jiraiya was suddenly reprimanded as soon as he returned to the village, but he didn't say anything. He just stood there in silence for a while, then looked in the direction of Serutobi Hirazan and said. I'm sorry, I still can't promise to be the Hokage, but I swear I will find the right person to be the Hokage. Serutobi Hirazan laughed miserably. Besides you, is there anyone I can trust who can take on this important task? Yes. Jiraiya said slowly. Let Tsunade be the Hokage. She is more suitable to be in charge of the interior than me. I will still command the battle on the front line, so that we can form a coordinated force. Hearing his words, Mitoman N on the side rejected it. Jiraiya, have you forgotten why Tsunade Senju left the village? Wasn't it because she, as a medical ninja, had hemophobia and couldn't even perform the most basic tasks, so she had to leave? Jiraiya was speechless when he heard this. Of course, he knew that this was also the fact, but at this moment, he couldn't find a better candidate in his heart. At this time, Uchiha Itachi, who had been kneeling in front of the Hokage, suddenly spoke, gritting his teeth. He said as if he was eager to prove something. Lord Hokage, Lord Jiraiya, I have a way to temporarily eliminate Lady Tsunade's fear of blood. Oh. Serutobi Hirazan's expression changed. What method? Under the gaze of everyone, he finally spoke out his method word by word. That is, I can cast a special illusion on Lady Tsunade's brain, blocking all her fear of blood for a few days or hours, so that when this illusion is in effect, there is no need to worry about Lady Tsunade's hemophobia. He knew how daunting this sentence would be, after all, it was to use an illusion to tamper with the brain of a future Hokage. Who knows if he will add something else to it. And who can guarantee that he will not tamper with it every time. Sure enough, after hearing this, Jiraiya's eyes immediately showed doubt. But Serutobi Hironaga smiled with relief. This is a good idea, you can try it. Jiraiya, you don't need to doubt Itachi's loyalty, he has proved it with his actual actions. Now I will ask him to share with you the information he knows later. You must immediately make corresponding defense preparations based on this information. In addition, I approve your plan to look for Tsunade first. If you can find her, let her be the fifth Hokage. After saying that, Serutobi Hirazan coughed heavily again. In front of him, the illusory god of death that only he could see was almost face to face with him. Well, Itachi's body still looks lively and energetic now, and he doesn't look like he has a terminal illness at all. Jiraiya has mastered a series of information about Haruno through Itachi, and Itachi can actually eliminate Tsunade's fear of blood through illusion. The two strongest forces in the ninja world, healthy Itachi and intelligent Jiraiya, have been gathered, and with the addition of Tsunade who has turned on the fear-free mode in advance, it seems that someone may have a hard time. Haruno is now rushing to the border of the Land of Fire. The girl doesn't know that a big word of danger has appeared above her head. Back in the Hokage's office, the third generation continued to say to Itachi. Get up, Itachi Uchiha, I understand your intention. Are you unwilling to see the remaining Uchiha clan members no matter what? Jiraiya, who was standing by, opened his mouth in an O shape in surprise when he heard the news. It had been several days since the coup, and most of Konoha had been reduced to ruins. And there was actually more than one Uchiha clan member left alive in Konoha village, including Itachi Uchiha who had defected. From what the old man said, it seemed that there were still many left. What on earth was wrong with this world? That's right, Uchiha Itachi said in a deep voice. After that incident, there is no Uchiha in my heart anymore. I just want to become a sharp sword that protects the Konoha ninja village in the dark. Is that so? Then, Serutobi Hirazan looked at the Anbu captain beside him and said. Then let's ban the root organization as planned. Yes. The Anbu captain trembled slightly and said. Let the remaining members of the Anbu Root Organization follow you, Uchiha Itachi, to form a new force. This force still carries the name of Root, and is affiliated with the Anbu directly under the Hokage. It is called the Anbu Root Team. There won't be many people, but they will act in secret according to your plan. 
There is only one goal, to eliminate the Uchiha clan members who are in exile and eliminate their threat to the village. Yes, Uchiha Itachi said gratefully. After performing this political trick, Sarutobi Hirazan's eyes relaxed again, and he looked at Morino Ibiki beside him and asked. How many of those Uchiha clan members are left? The middle-aged man with scars all over his face said coldly. There are more than 600 people left, most of whom are civilians who have never been able to open the Sharingan in their lifetime. There were also a small number of non-combat ninjas who were left here. However, more than 300 Uchiha clan members who had opened their Sharingan escaped our control. Is that so? It looks like a big trouble. Sarutobi Hirazan sighed slowly. In fact, the Uchiha clan, as the largest family in Konoha, has nearly a thousand clan members, and less than one-third of them have the ability to open the Sharingan. In the original work, Uchiha Sasuke also said that those who can open the Sharingan are also a small part of the Uchiha clan. And among the one-third of people who have opened the Sharingan, another one-third, that is, less than a hundred people, can awaken to the three Magatama Sharingan when their strength is still at its peak. And now these, which should have been the most powerful forces of the Uchiha clan, have escaped. The rest are either the owners of pancake shops or civilians doing restaurant business. Although they bear the name of Uchiha, their offspring may also open the Sharingan. But at this time at this moment, the only value is to threaten those Uchiha clan members who are on the run, as a hostage. Yes, it can only be used as a hostage. If nearly a thousand people of the Uchiha clan can be captured in one fell swoop, Serutobi Hirazan does not recommend wiping out those ordinary Uchiha members who have no fighting power, in fact, he did so in the original work. But now, because he is afraid that those Uchiha clan members who are on the run and have fighting power will be more stimulated, he is afraid to use his weapons against those civilians who have no fighting power. It seems that Yang No's plan is indeed successful. He really dare not kill them. If he kills these people, God knows whether there are any Uchiha clan members who are on the run who can open the Mangekyo. If someone can really awaken the Mangekyo because of this, it will be a lot of fun. As a disciple of the second Hokage, Serutobi Hirazan knew the rules of dealing with the Uchiha clan. No. 1. Don't go looking for trouble and provoke them. He laughed bleakly again, looked at Jiraiya and said. Isn't it ironic? They were the ones who launched the coup, but the sacrifices they made in the coup were much smaller than ours. And when the coup was quelled, we still had to take care of the remaining Uchiha members who stayed in the village, ahem. Itachi, what should I do with them? Itachi said expressionlessly. But at the command of the Hokage. The office fell into silence. Nara Shikaku suddenly spoke up. As a consultant, he learned from the Hokage why Uchiha civilians could not be touched. I have an opinion. Since we want to prevent them from getting into trouble and thus irritating the fleeing Uchiha clan members, let them open their eyes. How about letting the Hyuga clan be responsible for monitoring them? We can set up a special unit and let the Hyuga clan serve as. Why not just call it the Konoha Guard Force? They are the best suited to do this. First, in front of the Byakugan of the Hyuga clan, there are no blind spots for surveillance. Second, the Hyuga clan suffered the least damage that night, and they don't have much blood feud with the Uchiha clan. Everyone looked at Nara Shikaku with admiration. Serutobi Hirazan knew in his heart that there was one more thing he hadn't said. That is, this was also a punishment for the Hyuga clan's failure to work hard that night. Didn't you Hyuga just slack off the whole time and then became the strongest in Konoha without doing anything? Then I'll give you the hard job of being a jailer, and when the bomb explodes, it will all be your fault. However, although Shikaku has a high IQ, Serutobi Hirazan is more proficient in political intrigue. From now on, the Konoha Guard Force will be established, led by the Hyuga clan, with the mission of monitoring the Uchiha clan. This mission was given by me personally, and it has nothing to do with my advisor, understand. Nara Shikaku was a little touched. This was the third Hokage using his reputation to cover up for his subordinate. If the Hyuga clan knew it was his idea, he, as an advisor, would be in trouble in the future. And if this order was given by Serutobi Hirazan, he was about to die anyway, would it be useful to blame a dead person? Maybe, she could even let that Lady Tsunade do some good and disband the guard force when the time was right, so that she could be more comfortable as Hokage. 
Also, send a message to Tenzo, asking him to form a new Anbu team, named Yi, and try to select members from ninjas who have no blood feud with the Uchiha. There is only one goal, before the route eliminates the threat of the Uchiha fugitives, no Uchiha civilians in Konoha will be allowed to die accidentally. After performing a set of smooth political tactics, Sarutobi Hirazan coughed a few times and continued to speak with a weak breath. Uchiha Itachi, who do you think should be the new head of the Uchiha clan? Hem. Uchiha Itachi raised his head and looked at the Hokage in disbelief. What was he talking about? Is there anyone else who can be the head of the Uchiha clan? No, after doing something like that, can the Uchiha clan continue to exist in Konoha? He knew that more than 600 Uchiha clan members were now all detained in their houses. The streets where the Uchiha clan's residences were originally concentrated have now almost turned into a ghost town. Except for the Konoha ninjas in charge of martial law, no traces of the usual life can be seen. There are only a few exceptions. These few people among them was Uchiha Sasuke, who benefited from his betrayal. But our pillar doesn't care how much he benefited from his brother. After being temporarily detained by the Anbu and investigated for a period of time, he unexpectedly regained his freedom. Now Sasuke can't concentrate on the class at all. While enduring the weird or hateful looks from his classmates, he cursed his brother 100,000 times in his heart. Ah, uh, you read that right, our classmate Uchiha Sasuke is now in class. After his father failed in his rebellion and was killed, his mother he led his family members to flee to the kingdom of wind and set up a new family. His brother surrendered to the enemy. He was not sure if it counted as surrendering to the enemy. He killed his father with his own hands. When his sister Uchiha Yangno was planning the ninja world war, he was in class at the ninja school. Yes, this world is so magical. In Konoha, even the son of the fox demon who destroyed half of the village and the traitor whose coup failed have the right to receive education. Thanks to our Sasuke's big heart, after the Anbu investigation failed, he was released back to his lonely home. After that, he actually woke up from his collapsed mood. After a day and a night, relying on the hunger in his stomach, he made himself a sloppy breakfast. He had nothing to do but went to the ninja school with his school bag on his back. It happened that the ninja school also suspended school for a day because of the coup, so Sasuke, whose family and family suddenly experienced a huge change, did not miss a single class. Should he say that he was lucky? With such a big heart, it seems that it will be a torment to open the three Magatama Sharingan in the future. For the people of the Uchiha clan, it is probably not a good thing to have too strong acceptance. Itachi. How about letting your brother Uchiha Sasuke be the head of the Uchiha clan? The third generation's words shocked everyone and they didn't know what to say. Itachi was silent for a while, then nodded slowly and said. Although he is still too young, he has no choice. I have no objection. When he heard the word, clan leader, just now, he still felt a pang in his heart. Now Itachi felt like he had just woken up from a nightmare. Any little thing could drag him back to the memory of the nightmare. Very good. Sarutobi Hirazan heaved a sigh of relief when he heard that. He looked at Morino Ibiki and said. Go and release the Uchiha clan members from imprisonment, but necessary surveillance is still indispensable. In addition, please go to the ninja school, find Uchiha Sasuke, and tell him that he will be the patriarch of the Uchiha clan in the future. Got it. Morino Ibiki said with a strange look. The Sandai turned his gaze back to Jiraiya and said. I'm afraid I won't be alive for long. After I die, don't tell the outside world that I'm dead until Tsunade returns and becomes the fifth Hokage. When necessary, my personal Anbu captain will use the transformation technique to pretend to be me and appear in the Hokage building to work. Jiraiya said with a trace of sadness in his eyes. Don't worry, old man. With Tsunade and I here, Konoha will not be in danger. After saying that, he seemed not to want to look at the dying old man sitting on the seat again, and turned around and left without looking back. Behind Jiraiya, in the sunlight of Konoha pouring through the window, Sarutobi Hirazan trembled and took his last breath. The old man who had been a soldier all his life, good at political schemes, but repeatedly misjudged the situation, was about to be tortured by the White Death. After receiving the order from the Hokage, 
Uchiha Itachi left the office and looked at several former Root organization members who were now members of the Root team under the Hokage's direct command, who were gathered outside the Hokage building. Including the boy with the alias Sai and Aburame Tori Root, although he was also a member of the Anbu before, he had no contact with the members of the Root. He spoke in a complex and godlike manner. Let me introduce myself. My name is Uchiha Itachi. Haitsu Leitung, who is not from the root, also stepped forward. I have submitted an application to the Hokage office and hope to join your action. The sun shone through the white curtains of the hospital onto Kakashi Hitaki's face wrapped in a black mask. He was awake and was sensing the condition of his body. There were bursts of stinging pain in his left eye, but his vision was no different from before. What's going on? Didn't I already? He stretched out his hand, his fingertips trembling a little, but he still didn't dare to reach his left eye. He was afraid that everything was just an illusion. The last scene he remembered in his mind was the scarlet Sharingan behind the mask. It was that mysterious man who dug out his own eyes. With a swish, the curtain that served as a compartment was pulled open, and Kakashi saw his fellow patient lying on the side. That was my guy, and his injuries seemed to be worse than his. His body was wrapped in bandages, and some parts were in plaster. He must have had a fracture. That was the green monster. Seeing this, scenes emerged in his mind, and he covered his forehead in pain. The pleasant voice of the nurse reached his ears. Mr. Kakashi, is your left eye okay? We took the initiative to replace it with the Uchiha Rebellion Sharingan captured on the battlefield. Please do not use its power before you get used to it. That's not a dream. Since I can't fulfill the promise with Obito, I'll throw away the promised item. After all, I really don't want your eyes to see this miserable world again. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Just as Sasuke used the pencil in his hand as a kanai and drew the mark that he thought was Uchiha Itachi for the 1099th time, the door of the classroom was suddenly pushed open, and a golden figure appeared in front of everyone. The man scratched his head. At the same time, he was not clear about the circumstances of his disappearance, so he explained in a slow and careless manner. The experience of being urgently taken out of the village by the Anbu was more like a dream for Naruto. He only remembered that he was drowsy on the back of the Anbu until he met a strange uncle with white hair. The uncle looked at him, and then discussed with the Anbu for a long time. Finally, he returned to the back of the Anbu and returned to the Konoha Ninja village in a daze. Therefore, although he has been walking for a long time, he has been resting on the road, so he is now energetic and does not look like he has been running all the way. Because of the illusion, he did not see the scene of Konoha being destroyed. He scratched his head and looked at the classmates in the class. Ah, strange, why is there no one sitting next to you, Sasuke? After saying that, he ignored the classmates' whispered reminder and sat next to Sasuke. Now even Uruka on the podium didn't know what to say. He could only respond vaguely, turned back to write and draw on the blackboard, and started teaching. Naruto was naturally not a good student who was willing to concentrate on listening, even in his favorite class, Mr. Uruka's class. Now even as slow as he was, he also noticed the abnormality in the air in the classroom. He puffed up his cheeks, used his palm to suppress his voice, and whispered to Sasuke. Hey. What's going on? Why do you feel like everyone is acting weird? Sasuke's cheek muscles twitched for a while, and he ignored Naruto and continued to write and draw in his notebook. Naruto was even more curious now, and he simply stretched his neck like a giraffe and desperately looked in Sasuke's direction, wanting to see what he was writing in the notebook. His action was so sudden that before Sasuke closed the notebook, he could already see that it was Itachi's name written on it, and he didn't know how many times it had been crossed with a pencil. Hey, what is that? Naruto didn't care that it was a class and started yelling in the classroom. His eyes also turned into a kamoji shape. Uchiha Itachi, I heard them say that man is not your elder brother. Why are you like this? With a swish, Naruto felt a piece of chalk hit him directly on the head. He touched his head, turned around with an innocent look, and saw the angry face of Mr. Uruka. Uruka was also in a dilemma. He instinctively didn't want his students to have any bad memories because of this argument, but he also knew that it was impossible, so he could only try his best to pretend that nothing happened. But Naruto, who couldn't read the air, 
came in and started shouting, as if he wanted everyone in the class to recall that terrible night again. You know, many of their family members lost their lives because of it. Alas, Naruto covered his head and looked around the class again, and said strangely. Speaking of which, where is that kid Akamichi Choji, why didn't he come to class? He can't be even later than me, right? Now everyone in the class looked even darker, because he had lost his father in the coup and was still dealing with various things in the family, so how could he be here? At that moment, several classmates who were on good terms with Choji were furious and were going to teach Naruto, who couldn't read the air, a lesson. At this moment, the air in the classroom that was about to solidify was suddenly interrupted by a knock on the door. Baruka rushed over as if he had been pardoned, opened the door of the classroom, and saw the tall figure of Morino Ibiki, who said a few words to him. Baruka turned his head and looked at Sasuke who was sitting by the window and said. Sasuke-kun, I need to trouble you to come out for a while. Then there was the sound of a chair sliding across the floor. Under the gazes of all the classmates, some suspicious or malicious, Sasuke packed up his books and walked to the door of the classroom without looking back. The man with a face full of scars and a fierce look nodded at him and said. Follow me. Uchiha Sasuke didn't say anything more, but closed the door of the classroom directly. Before the door closed, he heard Naruto's loud noise inside. Hey. What happened? Why was Sasuke taken away by this gloomy-faced uncle? Hey, can you tell me what happened? What a noisy guy. Sasuke thought as he continued to follow Morino EBC down the stairs. In Sasuke's young mind, he thought of himself and the countless possibilities that would happen next, including being taken to a mysterious corner and secretly executed. After that night, Sasuke, who had anticipated this ending, showed a nonchalant look on his face, although he was extremely nervous and his heartbeat could not lie. Finally, the man in front of him stopped and turned around. Is this the place? Sasuke broke out in a cold sweat. He didn't think he could get away, but he still wanted to try his best. The Hokage said that since your brother refused to be the new generation of the Uchiha clan leader, then the new Uchiha clan leader is you. What? Sasuke's head was full of question marks. He was ready to fight to the death, but he didn't expect the other party to suddenly say this to him. What's going on? He wanted to ask a few more questions, but he heard Morino Ibiki say. You just need to know that this is the Hokage's judgment, and you don't need to ask about anything else. Well, if you have no objection, please go back to your clan's base and take a look. Those members of your clan who did not participate in the coup should have been released. I have also informed them that you have become their new clan leader. Now, it won't be too late to come to class after you have dealt with the affairs of the clan. Uchiha Sasuke walked towards his family's residence in a daze, completely ignoring the cold stares and discussions from passers-by along the way. The seal around the clan's land had been opened at some point, but there was still an invisible barrier there, blocking everyone except the Uchiha. The barrier also seemed to block Sasuke's steps, making him dare not step in. But finally, he made up his mind and stepped in. Unlike other places in Konoha village that were being rebuilt along the way, the Uchiha clan's land was not affected by the war that night, and most of the buildings were still intact. He saw the shops opened by the civilians in his family. There were people in them, but they still seemed deserted. He passed by the Uchiha pancake shop and saw Uchiha Teyaki and Uchiha JYO. They seemed to want to greet him as usual, but something seemed to be choking their throats. He muttered without saying anything, and his eyes dropped after meeting his. Sasuke suddenly wanted to run away, he suddenly felt an unknown fear and disgust for this clan land that seemed to be unchanged from before. Not until he returned to the courtyard of his house did the young man's mind calm down, he hugged his knees and looked up at the sky as if he had regained his spirit. He was still sorting out his thoughts when he heard the sound of wind chimes, he looked up and saw a member of the Uchiha clan he knew, crying and snotting, walking towards him. He was an old servant of their family, named Uchiha Ryoxiong, he lost one eye when he was young for unknown reasons, and his physical functions declined, and in the end he was not selected to participate in the coup that night because of his low strength. The man did not calm down until he came closer and saw Uchiha Sasuke. While tidying up his appearance, he said apologetically. I'm sorry, Master Sasuke, I didn't expect to see you alive one day. 
When I was in prison, I thought I would never see you again. Please forgive my rudeness, I was really too emotional. Sasuke frowned and said. Uncle Liangshang, I didn't expect to see you again. Where are the other tribesmen? They. The old man named Liang Shang's eyes flashed with anger. They had all fled Konoha during the chaos that night, leaving only us old men who couldn't run and a small number of clan members who were loyal to the Hokage. In other words, you are the only person I can trust. Sasuke said with difficulty. Have you found out where my mother is? Liang Shang shook his head and said. It seems that Lady Makoto escaped with the other tribesmen in the chaos. Uchiha Sasuke clenched his teeth, closed his eyes, and was silent for a while. He slowly opened his eyes and asked the person in front of him. Did they, the Anbu, ask you anything? The old man nodded affirmatively and said, they asked some basic questions, all related to the coup, asking me if I was notified in advance. No matter how they asked, I always said no. They lost interest in a small figure like me. Well, before they let me go, they told me that you had obtained the permission of the Hokage to inherit the position of clan leader. They also said that they would allow our Uchiha clan to continue to exist in Konoha under your leadership. When I heard this, I couldn't believe my ears. Sasuke's heart was full of mixed feelings at this time, and he also couldn't believe it was true. But after accepting all this, he couldn't help but feel a strange sense of excitement. He actually became the patriarch of the most powerful family in the village. Ah, no. It seems that it can no longer be considered the most powerful family. Sasuke asked, how many people do we have now? The old servant said, I just counted it, and we still have more than 500 people left, but most of the people are civilians without combat power. Almost no one has opened the Sharingan like you, young master. Seeing that Sasuke's face was getting darker and darker, he quickly added. However, there are exceptions. There are more than a dozen tribesmen who have opened the Sharingan with two to three Magatama, but they. After hesitating for a while, he still said. They all said that they were loyal to Konoha until death, and had cut ties with our clan. With the permission of the Hokage, they even moved out of our clan land. These words really had the opposite effect, and Sasuke's face became darker and darker. Therefore, among our people, you are the only genius who has opened the Sharingan at your age. The old man didn't know that Sasuke opened two Magatama that night because he witnessed his father's death, thinking that he only had one Magatama Sharingan. There is only this old man who has wasted most of his life and only has one eye with a three Magatama Sharingan. Well, the entire Uchiha clan under Sasuke's nominal control has about 500 people. All the people who listen to him can only make up 7 Magatama. Err, 2 Magatama plus 2 Magatama plus 3 Magatama equals 7 Magatama. The rest either went into collective exile or became rebels in various major ninja villages. Overnight, the Uchiha clan, the strongest clan in Konoha, became the weakest clan in name only. As the youngest leader of the weakest clan, he would soon find that the troubles he faced were not just this, but Sasuke had no time to think about these things now. He suddenly had a brilliant idea and could not wait to ask the old man. As the chief, what are my powers? Can you teach me? After getting the answer from the other party, Sasuke immediately announced solemnly. As the new clan leader, I request a small clan meeting to discuss how to remove Uchiha Itachi from our clan tree. Well, Ryu's face was twisted. The expression that appeared on his old face was as exciting as it could be. He had thought a lot about how Master Sasuke would react after becoming the new clan leader, and what the first decision would be. After all, he was the young master who grew up under his own eyes. But he didn't expect that it would be such an uncomfortable decision. Uchiha Itachi was also a young master who grew up under the old servant's eyes, and was once regarded as Fugaku's successor, but now the relationship between the two brothers seems to never be able to return to the past. He said with a twisted face. This, this is not right after all, he is. Sasuke. Chief, he is your biological brother, how could you expel him from the family tree? What's wrong with that? Sasuke glared at him and said unhappily. He killed my father and brought disaster to the entire Uchiha clan. Don't forget this. If it weren't for him, then. Maybe our Uchiha. How did we end up like this? However, if he had not gained the trust of the Hokage, 
we would not be allowed to continue to exist in Konoha village after that night. The old man said almost in tears. Yes, the official propaganda of the Hokage's office now is that at the critical moment, thanks to Uchiha Itachi's timely stepping forward, he sacrificed his relatives for the greater good and was the hero who saved the village. And that night, many people did see the orange-red Suzano used by Uchiha Itachi fighting with the Suzano of the other coup parties, so this propaganda was quickly accepted by everyone in the village. Therefore, among a group of, bad Uchiha, whose reputation can be said to be stinking, Uchiha Itachi is still considered a, good Uchiha, by many people in Konoha. Hearing what he said, Sasuke became more and more angry. If my father had not been killed at the last moment, why would we need anyone's, permission, to exist in Konoha? Our position in Konoha is absolute. A complex light flashed in Sasuke's eyes. Sasuke is a typical Uchiha. The so-called standard Uchiha has love, obsession, and ambition in his heart. But he will not casually put the interests of the village above the people he cares about. Therefore, although he loves the life in the village, thinking of the jealousy he suffered when he was in school, and the situation where he and his clan were driven to live in a remote corner of the village, he had to walk a long way to school every day. When he was a child, he didn't understand why other students only needed to go to the ninja school 10 minutes in advance, but he had to walk for a long time. Now he finally understands that those explicit or implicit the more he thought about it, the more uncomfortable he felt from the discrimination. What made him most uncomfortable was the jealousy of his talent, as if all the results of his hard work were achieved by his bloodline. When he thought of this, the bold and rebellious emotions in his young heart gave him an idea. If we had succeeded that night, what would happen now? Those who usually praised him as a genius of the Uchiha clan on the surface, but spoke coldly and attributed his success to his bloodline behind his back, can they finally shut up? But he didn't know how much shock his words caused in Liangshan's heart. The old servant almost knelt down immediately and looked Jojo carefully. He whispered, Patriarch, please be careful with your words. Sasuke also knew that he had just spoken out of turn. Now things might go wrong, and there were Anbu watching around, so he pursed his thin lips tightly. As if it was a sign of no compromise, after a while, he still said stubbornly. Anyway, I have made up my mind. I will expel that man from the family tree. The old servant advised with a complicated look. Now your big brother. After being glared at by Sasuke, he changed the topic and said. Now Itachi is a big celebrity in front of the Hokage. I also got the information that the Hokage asked him to take charge of the previous root organization and set up an Anbu team directly under the Hokage, in order to deal with the Uchiha clan members who were exiled. What? Sasuke's face turned pale when he heard this, and he interrupted in shock and anger. Did he accept it? Ryosuke nodded and said, Itachi, it seems, has been appointed as the captain of the Anbu root team. Sasuke's face turned even paler. I remember you just said that my mother was also one of those exiled people. This. I'm afraid so. Sasuke's little face was extremely gloomy, and he spoke through gritted teeth word by word. I don't have such a cruel brother. They have all escaped from here. Do I still have to kill them all? This. The servant also had a complicated expression, not knowing what to say. It shouldn't be that bad, after all, she is the biological mother of Uchiha Itachi. Sasuke glared at him angrily, and the old man knew that what he said was stupid. If someone can be filial to his own father, what's wrong with being filial to his mother again? So, now you know why I insisted on expelling that man from the family tree, right? If he uses the name of our clan and still does something that goes against human ethics, it will be a real shame for our Uchiha clan. I didn't expect that this young master who was still attending the ninja school would speak so logically. The servant nodded with relief and some sadness. Okay, I'll go and inform. At this point, Liang Shang suddenly stopped, at a loss. Ah, uh, Master Sasuke, no, Master Clan Leader, theoretically, this kind of discussion requires the clan leader and the elders of the clan to make a decision together, but now all our elders are gone. Huh, what should I do? Sasuke was also dumbfounded when he found himself alone. Originally, according to our clan's custom, you, as the clan leader, can appoint several clan members with high reputation or strong strength to become clan elders, but now. Now, 
Those Uchiha with high reputation and strong strength have left Konoha, and we are left with the Uchiha who sells pancakes and the Uchiha who runs izakayas, right? Sasuke said. Ah, why is our Sasuke a little bit like his clan sister's sharp tongue? It seems that there is no need to hold this formal meeting. Without the constraints of the elders, as the clan leader, my power is unlimited. Take me directly to the place where the family tree is kept. I will cross his name off the tree and then notify all the clan members of the result. However, this might send a bad signal to the Hokage. After all, those who participated in the coup are still on the family tree, but expelling the heroes they promoted from the family tree is a bit. Now, the old and the young, the master and the servant, finally came to the basement of Nanga Shrine. In front of a long wooden board engraved with the family tree, Sasuke frowned as he looked at the familiar names inside. How about removing the people who participated in the coup and escaped that night from the family tree as well? Sasuke looked at the string of names and paused for a few seconds on the name of Uchiha Haruno below Uchiha Shaksen. In Sasuke's impression, Miss Haruno usually left a deep impression on him. She would occasionally take him and several other young men and women from the clan to play in the village. Well, from Sasuke's memory, it can be seen that the Uchiha clan was isolated from the tip of the iceberg. Going to the village to play was like moving from one area to another in his memory. This should have been something that all ninjas were accustomed to, but it was not the case for the members of the Uchiha clan. But what really impressed him was the strength that Haruno showed that night. The blue complete Suzano. The powerful force like a god seemed to be able to shatter the shackles and cages that had shackled them in the past with one blow. That kind of power. Uchiha Sasuke muttered to himself. That kind of power was beyond what he had known in the past few years in the ninja school. After that night, he realized that he had been sitting in a well and looking at the sky. Now he saw the real world. It is said that it was the power that could only be obtained by developing his Uchiha bloodline to the extreme and making his pupil power reach the level of the three Magatama Sharingan. After slipping out of the custody of his clan members and witnessing the fight between the gods that night, Sasuke felt that he suddenly lost interest in the usual school courses and training. In the past, he hated being said he is a genius who relies on his bloodline to perform well, but now he has an idea, that is, if he can develop the power of the Uchiha bloodline to that extent. What if that day comes? What will the scene be like? What color will his Suzano be? Presumably, all those rumors in the past will be turned into dust in the face of absolute power. Thinking of this, Sasuke's thoughts came to light. Well, it seems that our classmate Sasuke is no longer willing to be a test taker in the ninja school. At this moment, the servant's cough interrupted his fantasy. Patriarch. What is it? He turned his eyes away from the wooden board with Yang Nai's name engraved on it. The servant asked cautiously. What do you think? Sasuke said, shaking his head. Cross out the man's name, and leave the rest as it is. Yes. The old servant agreed with great entanglement. This was the biggest protest that Sasuke could show to the village at his age. Apart from that, he could do nothing but slowly accumulate his strength. In the end, the genealogy with Uchiha Itachi's name engraved on it was crossed out. Sasuke slowly fell asleep in his empty home amid his infinite reverie of the future. In the middle of the night, Sasuke suddenly woke up from his sleep, his clothes soaked with cold sweat. In his dream, he saw the ninja sword in Itachi's hand, which reflected the cold light, piercing his mother's chest. He cried out in despair, but found that his body was pressed down by several ninjas wearing Konoha forehead protectors, unable to move at all. Then, right in front of him, the tribesmen he saw during the day were slaughtered one by one. Sasuke screamed hoarsely and his consciousness was blurred. Suddenly, he saw the profile of the sandame in the corner of his tearful eyes. That was the old man who had preached the will of fire to their class when he visited the ninja school. He put his hands behind his back and watched the massacre without blinking. The anbu scattered and blocked every Uchiha who tried to escape. It was like a bloody painting, a sheer a slaughterhouse. Itachi was the one who painted with the blood of the Uchiha in the black and red painting. The ninja swords flew wildly, and the masks worn by the anbu seemed to have vivid expressions. The noses, eyes and mouths outlined on the masks moved, as if they were reveling in the process of appreciation. Sasuke stroked his forehead soaked with cold sweat. 
The scene in the dream was too real, as if it had happened before. Sasuke had accidentally learned some fragments of clues about the clan's plan that night before, but he still knew nothing about what his father was plotting at the time. It was not until after that night that he connected everything together. Could it be that there is some hidden story in this? It was not like what the Hokage's office had publicized, that the Uchiha staged a coup in order to usurp power, and ultimately failed and fled under Itachi's determination to kill his own relatives. Was it a move that his father had to take in order to protect his family? Sasuke at this time was a few years older than in the original book, so he understood more. On the couch, he connected his daily experiences with the situation of his clan members hiding in the center of Konoha, and fell into deep thought. The trees in front of her flew by quickly, and Uchiha Haruno's figure was moving at high speed in the forest on the border of the Land of Fire. Not far behind her were more than 150 Uchiha clan members. Most of them had opened their Sharingan. According to the girl's estimation, on average, the number of Magatama per person in the Sharingan was about 1.6 to 1.9. Don't think this is a very weak force. You must know that it does take talent to open the three Magatama Sharingan, but this does not mean that the Uchiha clan members who have not fully opened the three Magatama Sharingan have no other means of fighting. The group of people behind Uchiha Yangno include ninjas with good combat effectiveness. Even in the five major ninja villages, they can serve as the backbone. Except for a few people of the same clan who are about the same age as her, she is exploring the way ahead alone. She has eliminated several patrols of Konoha ninjas in the past few days, which greatly delayed the time they were discovered. Her long-term worry that Konoha would send a large force to pursue her did not come true. On the contrary, Judging from the scale of the patrol team, it is obvious that Konoha is shrinking its strength. This is not difficult to understand. If the Uchiha fled in one direction, Konoha might still make some moves, but now it is obvious that they are going to divide their troops and go to other major ninja villages. In this way, Konoha, which lacks high-end power, has no way to pursue desperately, because it is easy to be defeated one by one. In the perception of the three Magatama Sharingan, Yangno suddenly found that there was a movement in front. Seeing several human-shaped chakras in front, without hesitation, Yangno quickly formed a seal, performed a ninjutsu, and threw a shuriken. Fire style. Phoenix Claw Red. Yonori herself was not good at this ninjutsu. In actual combat, she usually only used ordinary Phoenix Fire. But after the battle with Itachi that night, she successfully used the Sharingan to carefully copy the process of Itachi using this skill. This time it was just a copy of that skill. Several fireballs wrapped with shuriken scattered and attacked the people behind the tree. This was a tentative attack. Water style. Water array wall. A water stream with a diameter of several meters appeared out of nowhere where there was no water. It spread out and directly engulfed or bounced the function fire and the shuriken inside. Then, after the ninja had just performed the water array wall, he performed another ninjutsu to counterattack. Lightning release, gratitude wave. A large net composed of lightning and water rolled directly towards Yang number. Lightning release and water release were directly mixed into a mixed ninjutsu of different attribute chakras. This ability was not something that ordinary ninjas could possess. He was. The three Magatama Sharingan in the girl's eyes flashed slightly, and in the next moment her figure reached the limit allowed by the dynamic power of the three Magatama Sharingan at this time, and the lightning attribute chakra filled her whole body. Lightning style. Like thunder. The lightning style developed by the girl herself was still very imperfect at this time. Compared to the fourth Reikage's ninjutsu, which not only had extremely high speed, but also activated cells, giving it strong self-healing and defensive abilities, and could withstand Sasuke Chidori, a ninjutsu that combined offense and defense. Because the girl had limited time, even with the help of the golden finger, the instant body technique she developed could only barely guarantee her speed, and the price was to completely sacrifice defense and cell self-healing ability. But even with this level of instant body technique, it was enough to dodge the mixed attacks of thunder and water. Seeing that she dodged this attack, a voice came from the opposite side. With this speed, does the opponent also have the lightning release technique? But at this level, he still can't compare with the rakage sama As soon as the voice finished speaking, it was immediately interrupted by a calm girl. Idiot, 
How many times have I told you not to reveal our identities in enemy territory? As expected. Yonori's eyes flickered slightly. After hearing that the other party's identity was consistent with her guess, she gave up further hostile actions. After all, it was she who first used ninjutsu to test the attack. The girl returned the knife to the sheath, and she put away her attack posture, exposing her distinctive Sharingan to the other party. Seeing her like this, the other party really stopped his actions, and only heard a male voice shouting from the other side. Hey, the people on the other side are members of the Uchiha clan. We have received your request for asylum and are here to help you on the orders of Lord Rakage. Yang No said. Yes, I am Uchiha Haruno from the Uchiha clan, may I ask who you are? Swish, swish, three figures suddenly appeared in front of Haruno. The features of those three people were very obvious. There was a blonde ninja with an extremely exaggerated body size, Samui, a senior ninja from the Hidden Cloud Village. The moment she was attacked by Haruno's ninjutsu just now, she had already used a dagger to try to attack Haruno's back, until she suddenly discovered Haruno's identity. Next to her was Atsuyi, who had a word, hot, on his arm and also had blonde hair. That man was her younger brother. And between the two of them, the dark-skinned young man with a lazy look on his face and short light hair was the right-hand man of the fourth rakage, Darui, a senior ninja from the Hidden Cloud Village. After hearing Uchiha Haruno's introduction, the three people's eyes were absent-minded to varying degrees, or dull for a short moment, stagnation. Among them, Atsui showed the most obvious, while Darui was the fastest to react from the brief stagnation. Who is Uchiha Yangno? A few days ago, this was a question that could only be answered within the scope of Konoha. If you ask the residents of Konoha, someone would probably say. Ah, it's the eldest lady of the Uchiha clan who occasionally goes shopping in Konoha village. I heard that she is the second genius of the younger generation or something. Oh, don't tell me, I met her when I came back from buying groceries last time. As soon as the eldest lady saw me, she smiled and asked me, um, what word was it? Ah, yes, hello, look at what a high level word this is, she is really worthy of being a lady from a famous family. If you ask an Uchiha clan member, he will probably answer. Oh, she is the genius in the clan who has extraordinary ability and eye power, but I have never seen her participate in any actual combat. She usually just serves in the Konoha police force. She does some clerical work, and sometimes she doesn't come to work for a week. If you ask someone from another village, he will probably ask. Who is Uchiha Haruno? It sounds like a female name. Is there such a person in the Uchiha clan? What? You mean the genius of the younger generation? I have only heard that there is a genius of their younger generation named Uchiha Shisui, who seems to have died for some reason, and another one named Uchiha Itachi. Well, although she has established her reputation as a young lady in Konoha, this reputation is really of a daily life nature and has not yet spread to the point where the entire ninja world knows about it. But now it is different, as the details of that night are constantly revealed, with the long list of deaths confirmed in the coup, and the cause of their death can be attributed to one person. From the leader of the root organization, the Dark Danzo, to the son of the third Hokage, Asuma Serutobi, the advisor Yuta Ne Kaharu, to the Serutobi clan members who were killed and wounded by her, leaving only the old and young, as well as the countless root ninjas and the core ninjas of Konoha. There was also the ruined Konoha and the destroyed Hokage Rock, and all these horrific acts were done by a young girl. According to legend, the girl also opened the Mangekyo Sharingan like Uchiha Madara, which could summon a powerful humanoid phantom comparable to the tailed beasts to raise Konoha to the ground. As these news that could not be concealed spread, it also set off an earthquake in the major ninja villages centered on Konoha. Well, yes, not only Konoha was shocked, but other ninja villages also felt a little Uchiha shock. And the hidden cloud village, which regarded the intelligence from Konoha as the top priority, was even more so. Because he was afraid that his younger brother and eight tails Jinchuriki Killer B, who was training in the canyon, would go out of control, and the fourth rakage, who was unable to withdraw, sent his most capable deputy Darui and the most elite troops. Before leaving, they saw that the rakage, who was known for his rough and heroic work, repeatedly told them to be wary of Uchiha Haruno's power. Therefore, the three people with different personalities had to be serious about the girl. 
On the way here, they also repeatedly discussed how to deal with Uchiha Haruno if they met him. After Uchiha Obito used the power of Kamui to inform the major ninja villages of the events that happened to the Uchiha clan and the plan to join the other four major ninja villages. The top leaders of the Cloud Hidden Village had several opinions on this. They just didn't know which direction the Uchiha clan where Uchiha Haruno was would flee to. In their opinion, it was nothing more than the most powerful Cloud Shadow Village or the Rock Hidden Village that could compete with them. Now, I saw him in person. However, the three people from the Hidden Cloud Village in front of them had just come back to their senses from the name of Haruno, but they couldn't help but have a small question mark in their hearts. The fierce and powerful Uchiha Haruno was said to have opened the Mangekyo and possessed great power, so how come the ninjutsu she just released was so ordinary? That's right, it was ordinary, and was blocked by a random water formation wall. In their impression, every time the girl spewed out a ball of fire, it should have at least the earth-shattering power of the Hauhuo extinguishing used by Uchiha Fugaku that night. They didn't expect that due to Haruno's limited training time, she had basically given up practicing ninjutsu and put all her energy into other aspects. Hey. Azai couldn't help but ask. Are you really the Uchiha Haruno? Are you the Uchiha Haruno who killed Danzo and countless ninjas and destroyed half of Konoha village as the rumors say? That's impossible. Yang Nai immediately retorted. She still cares about her reputation. I was the one who killed Danzo, but it was just to avenge my brother Uchiha Shisui. As for killing hundreds of ninjas, not to mention that there weren't that many people, and that was all done in a fair fight, destroying the village was just collateral damage in the battle. You said all this, why do you think I did it on purpose? In fact, I was forced to do it at the time. She tried her best to not be as scary as the rumors said. As you know, discrediting the enemy is a common tactic used by any ninja village. As one of the few Uchiha clan members who is capable of avenging our clan leader, Uchiha Fugaku, I am naturally feared by the Konoha clan, so could you please not look at me with that kind of eyes, the three people from Kumogakur. Yonori sighed helplessly at the increasingly strange looks from the three people from Kumogakur. At this moment, the treetops shook, and the figure of Uchiha Sankora appeared beside her. He glanced at the four people who were in a normal conversation, and said crisply. Sister Yangno, are they the ninjas from the Hidden Cloud Village who are here to pick us up? Hey, that Uchiha girl who suddenly appeared. Darui shouted. How many people are there in your tribe? How far are you from here? Uchiha Sanjirang looked at him warily and said with a curled lip. If you have any questions, you can ask my sister Yangno, don't try to get any answers from me. Uchiha Yang no smiled and said nonchalantly. They should be right behind me, no more than 150 of them, heading this way. 150 people. Darui's eyes flashed with a strange color. These are not ordinary 150 people, but the essence left after the night known as the Uchiha Rebellion. If such a force is added to the Hidden Cloud Village, it will undoubtedly be a powerful boost. Miss Yang no, we have occupied a Konoha Ninja outpost ahead. Our people are already there ready to respond. You can go over and rest at any time. Yeah. Yes, we have prepared food, drinks and hot water for bathing there, so please come over and have a chat. Atsui also echoed. Swish. At this time, two more figures landed on the treetops behind Yang Number. The figures and faces of the two of them were not much different. The only difference was that one of them had long hair casually scattered, and the bangs were very long and covered his eyes. The other one combed his hair into a classic Uchiha hedgehog head, but with a middle parted bangs. The two of them are a pair of twin brothers, ah, yes, they are the most prolific brothers in our Uchiha clan. Do you have such brothers? It's really a brother and a younger brother. The hedgehog headed man is the older brother, named Uchiha Yema. The one with long hair casually scattered is the younger brother, named Uchiha Jahe. The two of them are only in their early twenties but they have already opened the three Magatama Sharingan. Previously, he had been serving as a special ninja in the Konoha police force. In that period known as the Uchiha Rebellion or the Uchiha Rebellion, on the night of the wave change, the two were responsible for the first phase of the chaotic operation, in which they played a big role. Afterwards, the two took advantage of the chaos caused by the Battle of Haruno and others to break out of the siege and joined the branch family led by Uchiha Haruno, 
who plan to go to the Hidden Mist village. Both of them are considered to be the young and vigorous young faction in the clan, and they have a certain degree of confidence in their own strength. The elder brother is good at physical skills and ninjutsu, while the younger brother is good at illusions and ninja tools. They are both among the most powerful in the branch family led by Haruno, but their previous intersection was that Haruno occasionally went to work in the police force, or it would be more appropriate to say that he punched in, and they had a nodding acquaintance. In a year, they may have said less than ten sentences, so the trust relationship between the two is still in the running in period. Seeing that the backbone of their clan had not returned yet, the two brothers immediately rushed to investigate the situation. Looking at the three Magatama Sharingan of the two people, Darui and the others couldn't help but feel a sense of pressure. This is the power of the former strongest clan of Konoha. Both young men have the strength comparable to that of a Janan. Swish. Another figure appeared a little behind Uchiha Haruno. That person was a young woman with short hair, a pair of black framed glasses, and dressed very quietly. She was probably two or three years older than Haruno, and her name was Uchiha Hana. In terms of seniority, she is closer to Uchiha Sankora. She is her cousin and a rare medical ninja in the Uchiha clan. Although the Sharingan only has one Magatama, its medical ability is indeed outstanding. Therefore, she is also considered a figure in Haruno's core circle, and plans to follow her to the Blood Mist village. Lady Haruno, our people are right behind us. The girl said. Uchiha Haruno turned around and said to her. Go inform the tribe members to take a rest in the sentry tower controlled by the people from the Hidden Mist village ahead. Yes. Her figure turned into a shadow and went backwards. Uchiha Haruno smiled and said to the three people in front of him. Come on, take me to see the person in charge of your operation. The trees in the distance suddenly opened up, and a clearing next to the river appeared. On the green grass, traces of blood could still be seen, but all the bodies had been recovered. Only the traces of burns from ninjutsu and the ninja tools on the ground could be seen. Judging from their number, the battle was not long-lasting or fierce, but rather a one-sided crushing. Above the tower of Konoha, a flag with the symbol of the Hidden Cloud Village was now flying. Under the flag, dozens of ninjas from the Hidden Cloud Village were walking below. Among them, the black skin common in the Hidden Cloud Village made them look more conspicuous. Yang Nose Sharingan took in all of this, and said to Darui next to him in a joking tone. This is a big provocation to Konoha. Directly invading a country and occupying a stronghold, if it happened under normal circumstances, it might be the fuse of a ninja war. Darui rubbed his neck, as if he wanted to relax, and said nonchalantly. We are acting on the orders of Lord Rakage, just to test and find out where Konoha's bottom line is. A few years ago, our ninjas sneaked into your village and tried to kidnap a Hyuga clan member. When the news of the incident came, our Lord Rakage had summoned two Jinchuriki to prepare for a large-scale war. But I didn't expect that Konoha would give in and hand over a body that was said to be the head of your Hyuga clan. If even that level of provocation doesn't work, we decided to go a little further today. Let me guess. Yonori said, your idea failed. Konoha not only did not respond to your provocation on the border, but instead concentrated its forces more tightly together, like a turtle. That's right. Darui said. Some may see this as a sign of weakness, but in my opinion, it is precisely the smart thing to do. The current situation is that everything is still unclear. Although all the major ninja villages have taken action, no one has officially announced that they will accept your Uchiha clan to join their ninja village. At this juncture, they are afraid that radical actions will lead to a greater reaction and form a chain of distrust, so it is natural to be hesitant. He yawned and glanced at the girl beside him and said. Moreover, according to the intelligence we have obtained, you Uchiha have caused a lot of trouble for Konoha. The damage caused is more serious than the Nine Tails incident nine years ago. It has been officially classified as the Uchiha Rebellion, a failed conspiracy of rebellion. Yonori sighed helplessly and said, We Uchiha clan is not for anything else, but to survive. Hearing her words, Samui and Atsuyi on the side had some strange looks in their eyes, but fortunately it didn't take long before they saw the person in charge of the operations on the side of the Hidden Cloud Village. She saw the three cloud shadows beside her greeted Karui, 
and saw that the cloud shadows had sent out all the elite troops of the parties, but what shocked Yang Noi the most was the leader. That person was the Jinchuriki of the Two Tails, the two Yukitos. Yang Noi felt a dangerous aura from the woman, and their eyes met in the air, as if they were testing each other through momentum and chakra. In Yang Noi's Sharingan, she saw the blue-tailed beast chakra forming the image of a giant cat, grinning at her. Yang Noi was unmoved and closed her eyes, but an evil chakra appeared on her body. In Yukito's perception, a white giant phantom was formed, which made her deeply feel her insignificance. Is that the ability of the Mangekio Sharingan, Suzano? Just feeling the chakra makes people feel like they are facing a tailed beast. However, it is different from the violent chakra of the tailed beast, that kind of cold and dark feeling. Yumu Ren came back to her senses and took the lead in breaking the situation. She stepped forward and said with a smile. Hello, I am the second Yukito from Kumogakur. We have received a written document from your clan requesting asylum. The fourth Rakage sent me to lead the team to enter the territory of the Land of Fire to meet your clan and officially join our Kumogakur. As a part of us, from now on everyone is one of us. Yoto didn't expect that the fourth Rakage would make such a big move when he saw Yukito. You know, sending a troop of about 100 ninjas to the territory of another country can be argued. But sending a Jinchuriki who can transform into a tailed beast to the territory of another country can be called a war. As long as the Jinchuriki is willing, he can immediately set off a storm on the territory of a country. Tailed beast Jinchuriki is a deterrent force that will not be easily used in wartime. Well, except for Naruto, who has the aura of the protagonist. Look at Killer B, he would rather let his brother and disciples think that he was captured by Akatsuki, and take that opportunity to sneak out of the village to relax. It can be seen that he is really suffocated at ordinary times. Inside the newly cleaned tower, Yoto and the brothers Yema and Jahe behind her, as well as Sankora and others were sitting at the table. Opposite them were the Jinchuriki of the Two Tails, Yukito, and the three people from the Cloud Hidden Village. The two Cloud Shadow Ninjas, Karui and Omoe, were responsible for guarding the door. Darui, who had just finished explaining his captain's conditions, asked Yang No. How about this? These are our conditions. They are much more relaxed than the surveillance environment you were in before in Konoha Village. Yang No nodded. To be fair, there was nothing wrong with the conditions proposed by the other party. It can be said that they were very relaxed. As the fourth rakage of the Cloud Village, I did not make any mandatory requirements for the Uchiha clan members in distress. He did not require the Uchiha clan members to gather together or live separately, but gave them the right to choose freely. After all of them swore allegiance to the rakage. Other treatments were basically divided according to the personal strength of the Cloud Village. Uchiha clan ninjas with the ability of Chunin or above will be arranged in the newly formed four-person team and will be protected. After a short running in period and after performing several missions, this will enable dozens of cloud village teams to be fully strengthened, which is a sure win deal for both parties. And they also have the right to apply to him, the rakage, to change the team. It can be said that if this plan is implemented, then the Uchiha clan can not only ensure the purity of the power in the core circle, but also allow the peripheral clan members to have the opportunity to freely join the Cloud Village Ninja team, which can be said to take all aspects into consideration. In the Sentry Tower, Yongno said with a smile. After all, we are the protected. Jiraiya can't be picky, this condition is good enough for us. But there is a problem, that is in our previous clan plan. Our clan will go to different ninja villages to seek refuge, and not everyone will join your cloud village. I believe you also know this. Samui frowned his golden eyebrows and asked. You mean only half of you will join us in the hidden cloud village? No. Yang Nai shook his head and said. Most of them will join your cloud village. They are led by our clan elder Uchiha Jin. There are more than 110 of them, which is enough for you to carry out your original plan. After hearing him say this, the faces of the people in the cloud village looked much better. However, Yonori said again, I will not join the branch family led by Uchiha Jin, but will lead about 40 Uchiha clan members to the hidden mist village to seek the protection of the Mizukaj Sama. Hearing her say this, the expressions on the faces of those people from the hidden cloud village should not have changed, but instead showed a strange look. 
They looked at each other, as if they wanted to say something, but no one opened their mouths. In the end, Atsushi spoke. That, and the Uchiha, ah, let's call you Yang No, Miss Yang No, you may not know that the fourth Mizukage almost never leaves the village, and has not responded to your Uchiha clan so far, not to mention there is a rumor about the bloody ninja, you Uchiha. He wanted to say something else, but was suddenly interrupted by his sister. Enough, Atsuyi, stop talking. Yonano sighed and said. Of course I know those rumors, but rumors are just rumors after all. The rumors that the top leaders of the Hidden Mist Village are excluding the blood-stained ninja should just be a cover for internal power struggles. I believe no one will reject the Sharingan, a bloodline boundary. And they dare not refuse, because if they do not accept our strength, they will distance themselves from other major ninja villages again. Well, I don't believe what she said. She knows exactly why Karigakar wants to target the bloodline ninja in her village. Yukito, who is sitting in the main seat, also spoke sincerely. Miss Yang no, our Kumogakar is the neighbor of Karigakar, but I heard that Karigakar is in a state of turmoil. Even the seven ninja swordsmen who were supposed to protect the Mizukage have betrayed the village and become traitors. You just left the dangerous place of Konoha village and now you are going to plunge into such a bloody place again. Because of this, because it might be a dangerous place, we need a member of my tribe who possesses the Mangekio Sharingan to lead people there to give it a try, isn't it? If it doesn't work, we can consider returning to serve the Hidden Cloud Village. Hearing her words that could be considered a polite refusal, everyone in the Hidden Cloud Village was silent for a while, but Yang No continued. In addition, I have another important goal in going to the Hidden Mist Village. Oh. Hearing her say this, they became interested again. Yang Nai said seriously. That's to create an alliance. What alliance? Alliance between the Hidden Cloud Village and the Hidden Mist Village. This. Everyone looked hesitant. Of course, it is to target Konoha's alliance and to avenge our deceased clan leader. Although your village is very powerful, with two Jinchuriki alone, you wouldn't mind having an extra helper against a once powerful ninja village like Konoha, right? I am confident that I can convince the Mizukage to agree to form an alliance led by the Hidden Mist Village while joining the Hidden Mist Village. Hearing her words, the Hidden Mist Village ninjas couldn't help but show joy on their faces. This was something they were happy to see, and it might even be an unexpected gain for the Rakage. Yukito hesitated, and she looked at the girl and asked. Are you sure you can accomplish this? Yang Nai said with a faint smile. How about a two-month period? If after two months, the other party and the Hidden Mist still haven't reached a military alliance with you as the leader, then I will consider bringing my people to join the Hidden Cloud Village. Of course, this is the best. In fact, there was some debate among the high-ranking officials of the Hidden Cloud Village about whether or not to let Haruno join the Hidden Cloud Village. Supporters naturally believed that it would not be a bad thing for a village to have a ninja like Haruno with the power of a cage, but opponents also raised a corresponding opinion, that is, they were afraid that her power would change the balance within the village if her loyalty could not be guaranteed. Therefore, hearing Haruno's promise, the Hidden Cloud Village ninjas were quite satisfied. Under the cover of night, a bonfire was lit next to the sentry tower at the border of the Land of Fire. A simple but sumptuous dinner was being held. On one side were the Uchiha clan members with distinctive black hair and black eyes, and on the other side were the ninjas from the Hidden Cloud Village with many black skin. Wine is the key that can easily open people's hearts, and for ninjas in enemy territory, it is even more of a luxury. After drinking a few glasses, both groups seemed to be unrestrained, and the topics of conversation became more and more, and the atmosphere gradually became harmonious. Thanks for watching.